hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm here with my little family my niece my nephew and my sister we are on our way to staples center um you know we just want to really pay our respects to kobe i'm sure you guys know about the news and i feel like for most of us that was like our childhood just like watching him play um for me i feel like we're really like bothers me the most is the fact that his daughter was on board as well she's only 13 all we do is like look at you as you know it's like heavy on our on our hearts and on our mind especially for like his wife and his other daughters i feel like kobe was just living his life finally like after his amazing career that he had but his daughter was just starting her life and that's so sad to me she's 13 like i said my girl here is only 13. After he retired, I just stopped watching the Lakers because he really, he really was the Lakers to me. Don't you think? Like, obviously, there's other people that played a part, but he did all the work. Like, that's just Kobe. And <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing at memories because I remember uh, when we went to the championship um, parade in LA, my sister and her ex. <laughs> literally gathered up all the kids on the block whoever was a kobe laker fan whatever like we all fit in your truck remember we all squeezed in that was like such a fun time and um <coughs> pam i really think about that how is he I taking know. the news oh, Richard? the father of my angels right here well my sister's angels with their mind byron's had like every kobe shoe like there these are huge kobe stands right here but um, bless you, baby. He was not even born. Did you sneeze? Oh, I thought he was laughing at me. Yeah, he wasn't even born. He had this little like um, Laker jacket that they gave to the dog because it stopped fitting him. I'm actually gonna start a clip because I think that's so cute. But yeah, it's really sad, you know. LA, everyone feels it. Um, but the thing is, this guy was like. He had an impact on the world like worldwide like not just la but i feel like we really feel it out here and it's so weird because as soon as i like woke up the day felt weird dude that's what still like bugs me because i woke up and like ugh, something feels off like it felt like the end of the world to me like like to, that day just felt off and it was like super gloomy kind of like when nipsey passed it was the exact same like vibe it was so weird but um, yeah, that was hilarious. My sister and her ex literally fit everyone into their car that they had. And we all just went. And I'll never forget when, like, they passed through and he was like, remember he went like this? And he literally saw us. Because we were in the front and I was thinking about it today. I'm like, that's so crazy because it was a crazy crowd. Like, there was people, like, burning Celtic stuff. Um, and I hate being in crowded areas, so I don't know how I survived. I guess I was young, now I'm a grandma, but, um, literally everyone where my sister lived was, like, a Kobe fan, too, and they used to play basketball outside. Everyone loved the Lakers, huh? Except for Uli, he was actually invited to the, his brother went with us to the parade. Um, Uli was invited, but he didn't go because he, lost him. he was a Celtic fan, so he didn't go. But he loves Kobe. Like, literally, you you can hate the Lakers, but you're you gonna like Kobe. Like, he's a, he's a Celtics fan. I'm wearing my jersey that my mom got for me years ago. I had to dig deep in the archives because I don't wear jerseys out here. Shout out to all the Kobe fans out there that we know. Kevin, shout out to Kevin. Shout out to Sergio, Uli's brother. Who else loves Kobe so much? Shout out my niece and nephew's dad. Who else loves Kobe? Everyone. Literally everyone. <laughs> wow, you're so pretty. Sister, but the Gigi thing really hurts so much. I think about her a lot. But like Bad Bunny said, they're playing basketball in heaven together. <sighs> it's so sad. That's why we need to be thankful just for everything. Be thankful for your homework right now. For Fluffy. Imagine just like having a huge influence on the world. Like no matter what age, 
whether you play ball or not, like. I hope his wife is okay. Can't stop thinking about her. A veces me pregunto si hago bien en respetar los mandamientos Y dónde estará Dios metido en estos momentos Sé que la vida es corta como cuento Y en un abril y cerrar se la lleva el viento Aún recuerdo el primer juego tuyo que presencié Mil emociones, muchas veces me pusiste de pie Me enseñaste que todo en la vida se hace con pasión Y que para ganar hay que tener corazón Nos enseñaste que el número 13 no es de mala suerte Y que los fracasos pueden hacernos más fuertes Digan lo que quieran, pa' mí será el mejor Ay, descansen paz con el Señor Y felicidades, tú también ganaste seis sortijas Cinco en la NBA y un matrimonio que te dio tus hijas Pensando que una se fue contigo, me descontrolo Pero nah, eso es pa' que en el cielo no juegues solo Más de 81 razones pa' admirarte Más de cinco jugadores al mismo tiempo pa' pararte Nos parecíamos en que hacíamos arte Black man va forever, hey, por siempre vamos a recordarte, yeah Yeah, from bottom of my heart, thank you And uh, what can I say? Mamba out. I want to be the best. I want to be the best. Simple as play. That's why I play the game. But to be the best, you have to win. And that's what drives me. He's the best player in the game. It's just that simple. There's nothing that Kobe Bryant can't do. He will defend your best player. He will shoot from the perimeter. He will get all in your mark. He will do whatever it takes. He is the most complete basketball player in the game today, bar none. He has an assassin's mentality. I said this week, I said this when the trade went down, and I repeat it again. Who's starving more for an NBA World Championship more than Kobe Bryant? There is no one. This guy is high. Kobe, from the pack, more than Kobe Bryant, there is no one. Kobe doing work, two-fold on my shirt, he the greatest on the 